So the uh, plastering upstairs is completely done. It's just slowly drying out, ready for decoration. Plasterboards added to the ceiling because the ceiling wasn't a too good a nick. It's all uh, flaky. So now the plaster sticks to the ceiling and it's all done. Nice little edging things on there. The window reveals been brought out with a bit of plasterboard to neaten them up. All plastered. Stairwell as well, all done. And this is the lounge, several coats of PVA, swim tape, ready to receive a layer of plaster. And the underlay here, edging, keying, ready to be done. And then the kitchen hasn't been started yet. But the prep work has started. You see the edging, they've all gone rusty. So this one here is gonna have a piece of plasterboard on the reveals, sticking it out to cover those tiles and the hole. And then all plaster to the edges. I've traced this in. We'll have an isolation switch where this socket is. It will come down here and then go under the counter for a dishwasher or whatever goes under here. I just need the wire and uh, I can fit that. The radiators are mounted to the walls. They didn't need removing because it's gone right up to the edges, which saved a day's work. This radiator as well. You know, even looking from the side, you can't see that it hasn't been removed when the plaster's been done. So pretty successful idea there, not removing the radiators. The garden's been uh, tended to, so it's not completely overgrown anymore. This uh, rubbish shed is gone. There you go. I'm not a paid actor. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, smoothing it on, making something stick that shouldn't stick. So now it's all chased in. Isolation with fuse. And then a plug for the dishwasher. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and check out the description. Thanks, bye.